Hi, Professor Lace here, PhD in Genshin Impact Ology, here with another GI video. Today we're doing a deep dive into the Abyss, Floor 7 in particular. This one's this one's a hard one. <laughs> we'll start with an analysis on the stages, we'll get into some team building, and we'll talk about some of the mechanics. This video is going to be a little bit long, but it's probably going to be nothing compared to the amount of shaft you got from this floor. So first of all, I've tabulated the monsters up in this table, and why this is useful is because it's going to dictate who we put into each team. So I'm just going to go through each of the Fatui guys and give you my thoughts on them. First up, Cryogunner. So he freezes you with his ice spray. Without his shield, he will just freeze forward. With his shield, he'll actually rotate and track you. He has a jump move that he'll do if you're too far away. It's actually really hard to iframe this one, so I recommend just dashing away when he does it. He's got a body slam move when he's close range. It's fairly easy to tell, you just need to make sure that you dodge it because if not, he will probably half health you. He obviously sports the cryo shield. Cryo shield is very easy to break with pyro, so just keep that in mind when we're team building. So overall thoughts, he's annoying because he will freeze you, especially if you have Barbara and you're wetting yourself or if he's paired up with the Hydro Gunner. To me, not top priority, but annoying enough to usually be second priority. Hydro Gunner. He gets big heals on everybody, but otherwise he just wets you. As with Hydro Shields, the natural counter to this one is uh, Electro and Pyro, but I don't know why, it's just not as effective as the other ones when shield breaking. I think Hydro Shields are just harder to break or something. So because he has heals, usually he's top priority. For me, he's been top priority every time. So therefore, you usually you take him out first. And because he heals, it's going to prolong your time. And you need to remember that you're not only fighting against these monsters, you're fighting against time as well. Lightning Hammer Bro. Very easy, readable pattern. Don't really have to go through this guy, but all of his moves are involving his hammer, he's just gonna swing at you and shit. But the most notable move is his charge, so he will actually have an electro aura, an electro aura around him when he charges you. So when he charges you, just remember to dash towards him and off to the side rather than away because he will chase you and the AoE from that hammer will hit you. The big thing about him is when he gets his electro shield, if you let him get it, he gets really, really tanky. And again, time is money for this one. With my level seven Kaya, I just use two of my E's to take down a shield and then I smack him with my carry. I rate this guy as lowest priority because he's just so predictable and easy to dodge. And after you figure him out, he's just, he's a snooze power slinger. I think he's actually easier than the electro bro. Biggest thing for him is just keep your vision on him so that you know when he's about to shoot. It's very easy dodge, very easy tells. You should pretty much never get hit by him. He'll eventually put up a fire shield, which you can absolutely cripple with Barbara. So you just switch to Barbara, put up your E, and you just walk up next to him and just smack him with your aura. Your E aura around you will also absolutely clap his shield. After you clap his shield, you just lay into him. Again, very low priority. He's just a DPS. Uh, if you have Barbara to deal with him, which you will, he's super easy. Obviously, if you're watching this video four years from now and Barbara is not free, I'm sorry. <laughs> Animo Boxer. So this guy shouldn't be too hard, but he kind of is for me, just because I'm a shitter. He's just a minor nuisance. He's just flying around the battlefield. He'll fly to his allies where he'll shield up. He'll fly towards you where he'll shield up. And that's really all he does. And sometimes he punches you as well. His key ability is his dash and shield. If he puts up a shield, you don't want to hit it with an elemental move because it will react with the shield and then he will start sucking you in. After he sucks you in, he will punch you and it, it hurts a lot. So if you do inevitably get sucked in, you just got to dodge at the last second. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice to get it right. It's probably one of the harder mechanics, so maybe practice a little bit. Otherwise, you could actually just pop the shield from afar. The bottom line is, as long as you're aware of the suck that comes after popping the shield, you should be able to run away from it. I don't really have a priority on this guy because he's actually extremely squishy. And the reason is because his shield is not persistent, right? Everyone else, you have to actually break their shield. His shield comes up and down. So you Usually he'll actually just die from the splash damage. Geo Chanter, he shoots out some stuff every so often. I think it's a, a in a cone shape, easily dodgeable. Otherwise he just puts up a dome shaped projectile shield. Uh, it just means that you can't shoot things at him while the shield is up. Uh, you can actually walk through the shield and just start smacking him. So he does have an elemental shield, the Geo Shield. Geo Shield, as with other Geo Shields, you break it by using either a Claymore or Geo Spells. Normally he's relatively low priority. He's just a little bit annoying in the background, just teleporting around, not doing too much. But otherwise you just need to remember to come equipped with your claymore to make sure that you can deal with him because otherwise his shield when his shield is up his defense is super high and it's actually quite hard to kill him and again 
he'll stall you and he'll screw you out of a star. All right, before we get into team building, let's talk about some general tips that can be applied. The chambers are actually descending in difficulty. So the first one is the hardest and the last one is the easiest. It's a given and you probably are already doing this, but leverage the ley line disorder. It's giving you mass crit damage. And so what that means is that superconductor is probably gonna be a really big thing here if you can get it. When you break any of their shields, it actually stuns them, except for the animo boxer who sucks you. For the cards, just take the floor ones or the damage ones and only the floor ones if they are damage. You just need all the DPS that you can get. Defense, you have like the best defense in the world, which is an active dodge with iframes in it. Remember that the iframes are only at the start of the dodge though. Don't forget your elemental reactions, especially because the ley line disorder is boosting your crit by so much. So where possible, probably take superconduct because it will decrease their physical defense and you can smack them even harder with your crits. Overload is also your best friend because most of the mobs are gonna be weak against both fire and electric. So you you can actually CC them to delay their shields. When their shields go up, they gets a lot harder to kill. So keep your attacks up and you should be able to burst them down before they can put up their shields. Last but not least, remember to iframe your CQ. And I reiterate this tip, you can do Alt plus the number to instantly cast your iframe for the next character you want to tap in. So with all that in mind, let's get into some team building. So I can't remember which way it is, but this is the table for all of the different floors and the mobs. So along the top line is the first half and the second line is the second half. So for the first half, we can see that we actually have three instances of the lightning hammer bro, right? So what that means is that we wanna actually take Kaya to deal with these guys, literally any ice unit. My Kaya was level seven, he too shot their shields. You will also notice that there are two cryo gunners in chambers one and two. So you're probably gonna wanna take a fire unit. For me, that's to look, but let's just say it's Amber. For your third and fourth, you're gonna want a healer. So because we need Barbara for team two, I'm just gonna put Jean here, but I'm pretty sure you can also use Noelle. Noelle is good because she doubles up as a Claymore Geo to deal with the Geo unit, but also because she heals. It's not overly strong, but it should do, especially if you're a god at dodging. And what this means is that the last spot needs to be your main DPS. Uh, I like to put them on one usually. Um, for me, it's Diluc. Otherwise, my main DPSs would probably be Fischl and Changling if I didn't have Diluc. Look at that. Crit damage dealt by all party members increased by 120%. <sighs> so good. So what I end up with is actually 25% attack in the first team because of the two pyro elemental resonance. But otherwise I should be able to deal with everything that's in the first half. For the second half you can see that there are actually three pyro slingers so Barbara is a must. She also doubles up as the healer which is really good and my Barbara was only level 20 and she actually managed to get me through. I'm relatively sure that when it comes to shield breaking the level and the stats and stuff a lot of it doesn't matter too much, especially because I'm using a level seven Kaya and a level 20 Barbara to break shields. <laughs> Otherwise, the other thing here is that you're probably gonna have your weaker carry here. So you're gonna wanna deal with that Geo Chanter if you want. This one's not really mandatory. Um, the only real mandatory ones here are your main DPS and Barbara because Barbara doubles up as the healer and the Hydro to break the Pyro Slinger's shields. So you could actually take another Ice unit if you have one. So you can get the Superconduct on uh, Fischl if you're using Fischl in Tomb 2. Or you could take the Shangling to get the overload. Again, just to make my life a bit easier, I'll probably take a Geo just to deal with the Geo Chanter. So there actually is a Lightning Hammer bro, but he's just so easy that like, I don't really care about him. Worst case scenario, you just fry him with your Shangling or your fire with the elemental reactions. Maybe just chuck some elemental mastery on that, uh, on that Shangling or on that fire unit that you're using and you should be okay. So with all of this theory, you should be able to actually deal with anything that comes along. So for each chamber, you're gonna know which ones are the priority targets and which ones are like the doo-doo targets. So first half, I have my main DPS, my healer. Kaya is to deal with the Electro Bro and Lisa is for Superconduct. Second half, I've got Fischl going on, Shangling, but the star of the team is actually Barbara. Venti is actually really effective, especially on second half, because there are some stages where you have the two skinny dudes and it actually sucks them and they can't do anything about it. So that brings me to the end of the video. Big shout out to my friend KL for working with me on this video. This one it was a pretty big one. But yeah, otherwise you should be able to use these learnings to deal with every scenario that you come up with in floor seven. Obviously, just because you know the theory doesn't mean that you can just chunk them down. You, it is still a DPS check and you do need the DPS to actually burn them down. So don't think that you can just go in at like level 40 and kill them. If I missed anything or if there's anything else that you'd like me to know, just drop it in the comments. Otherwise, would appreciate a like, a sub, follow. You already know what it is, man. I've been trying to get on Twitch. Twitch is rough. But it is what it is, you know? Hopefully this video has helped you. It's not gonna solve world hunger, but it might help you solve level seven. Catch you in the next video. Bye.
So this one is a no-brainer. I'm picking the character attack plus 20% effective on this floor. Remember that the water guy can get frozen because he is water. But again, top priority, remember, is this water guy because he's just gonna heal everyone up. Look, look at this animo guy drop. Like, he's actually so freaking weak. I'm not even doing anything to him. Dash, dash. You can't iframe that. Well, I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm not gonna say you can't because I'm just gonna get fried for it. So remember, if I proc that shield, he's sucking and then he's gonna punch, right? Uh, I don't want to do that. So I can do it again. So I'm going to run because he's going to suck me in and then punch me. So this is the Barbara thing. I just put, popped Barbara and I'm just, oh, just going close to him and just wrecking him. I died, but I died for the video. Okay. I, that was intentional. Just want to keep watching the fire guy when he's going to shoot, just dodge. It's very easy, very straightforward. When they have their shield up, they actually can't be staggered. Not not even just staggered, they can't even get CC'd at all. So what this means is like Venti's Q, uh, Jean's E, like all those CC's, like none of them work. Um, this one, yeah, none of it works, man. So one Kaya E, run around. I mean, I could have switched and smacked him. He's so predictable. Two Kaya E's. And he gets superconducted as well. That's an, like a freaking bonus, to be honest. So you can see I've got Shangling dealing with the cry guy this time. Boom. He's down. One, two, three. So he's shooting my original spot. So remember, dodge into him. And then he's going to smack that way. Uh, look at that stone guy. He's not even really doing anything. Stagger. It stopped him casting his actual... Whoop. He just did his body slam. Oh dear. Okay. That thing actually does quite a fair bit of damage. Alright, so Geo guy actually has a shield. So if you can see... His shield is actually dying super fast because of the claymore. Look at that purple guy, he's not even doing anything. This is why I say he's like low priority. Wait a second. What the frick? But yeah, otherwise that's pretty much it. Uh, like it's just these kinds of learnings. It's, it's very, very straightforward. It's, it's not, it just takes a bit of practice and a little bit of planning it, but otherwise you should be all right.